Good evening, everyone. This is Julie White from Mansfield, uh, Pennsylvania, Pro 7 with Life Vantage, and I'm super blessed this evening to invite a good friend of mine to share with us tonight, Renee Parker from Georgia, and she's a Pro 5 in Life Vantage, and she's a very committed leader who we just uh, appreciate so very much. And she's been getting some great training from um, a well-known network marketer, Fraser Brooks, and she's going to share with us tonight about Facebook algorithms and how we can crack the code so that more people will see our posts and be attracted to our posts. And wow, I think that would uh, save us all just a, a lot of uh, time and effort. So with that, Renee, I am going to turn the time over to you, my friend. That would help. Julie, thank you so much. And guys, I'm so glad that you are taking some time on, on this evening to learn a little bit more on, on things I'm learning. I'm just passing along what's coming through, just channeling some of the things that I've been learning about Facebook and how we can actually crack the algorithm, crack the code. We've all heard that Facebook has this mysterious algorithm. It decides who sees our stuff and, and how many people, you know, everything goes out to. Well, there's actually a lot of smart minds on this side of Facebook who figure it out. So all I'm going to do tonight is share with you what I've learned. And then I would hope that you would pass it on to your team members who are not on tonight. Does that sound good? I'm going to start with, all right, great. I'm going to um, share screen and I'm hopefully, I'm hoping that you can maybe take a few notes as you see this. And as you have questions, it'll be harder for me to see the chat. So y'all just speak up if you've got something, if you have a question, want me to go back or explain further, okay? So we're going to be breaking the Facebook algorithm. Can you guys see that? Everybody? Okay. Yep. All right, we're going to create attraction in less than 30 minutes a day. So we can do this and we're actually going to, I'm going to kind of walk through and some of this may actually surprise you what, um, what you're going to see. So what we're going to talk about is trimming our, our list, our list of folks, our friends. We're actually going to trim the friend list. We're going to learn more about commenting and how to do it most effectively. Some posting do's and some posting do not. So here we go. So trim the friends list. Guys, this is not something that most people um, even realize is something they can do or should do. For years, for several years, we've heard, man, fill that up. You've got room for 5,000 friends on Facebook. Fill that bad boy up. Stop. That is no longer the case. You see, Facebook picks and chooses who will see what you're posting. And if you want the most people to see what you're posting, I'll bet that there are people who are in your friends list that you never, ever talk to. I bet there are people in your friends list you never see their posts. You really may not even be 100% sure who they are, but Facebook thought they, you guys should connect and you friended them years ago and there they sit. Yeah? So now we're learning to get the most value for what we are posting to bring that list back down. And of course, some of the things that you want to make sure that you do is to trim you, the, out the negative people. Now, this, this may or not may not include relatives. <laughs> That's up to you. But those people that just tend to always have negative posts, are they very polarized in this environment with what they're posting? You can either um, take them down for a little while. You can choose not to see them for a period of time. Or if they're not someone that you think you would ever actually have a conversation with, someone that is really a part of who you are and what you're about, it's okay. You know, they won't know that you've deleted them. They won't have a clue. And chances are they're never going to look for you. So, you know, it's okay. And so the negative people and then the dead weight, the people that, that I went through, guys, and found three people not because of the current environment, but just because of life, three people that had passed away that still had accounts up. So I just deleted those. And I found that when I deleted my list, about 20%, all of a sudden, I was seeing 
posts from people that I hadn't seen posts from in, very, in a very long time. And I was beginning to see them comment on my posts. So all of a sudden, just by trimming my list about 20%, now, if you've only got about 200 people on your list, this may not work for you. Just maybe go and find the ones that you would never have any uh, relationship with. But if you're, if you're sitting there with hundreds or in some cases, thousands of people on your friend list, it's no longer a good thing to have that many if you're not having conversations with those folks. So that's number one, trim your list, kind of a new thing. So the next part is to comment. So we've gotten through trimming our list and now we're going to, well, can't I just go ahead and post? Wait, there's, this is part of the system. So, and that trimming can go on anytime. You can just look through. There's actually uh, some apps out there that you can download that give you up to 500 free removals that you can do all at one time. A good way to remove friends is every day. If you're saying happy birthday to the people um, in your uh, Facebook list, and that's, that's something that I do in my commenting every day, I make sure that I have said happy birthday to the people that come up today's birthdays. I actually go to tomorrow's and I say, I want to be among the first to wish you happy birthday and I'll do it as a message. But in there, when you see all the people whose birthday is today or tomorrow are coming up, but I have no idea who that is. I have no idea who Julie Turnbuckle is. And I'm looking through, we really have like two friends and I really only know those through some, you're gone, Julie, not you, Julie, Julie Turnbuckle, gone. So as I'm commenting, I'm going to look and commenting means I get on and look and scroll and look for things to comment. So let me show you something. If you are, there's mine. If you're using the ITT tracker, you probably have one of these already, right? Um, I've actually taken all of this online to Trello to keep up because y'all, we go through tons and tons. Are you going through tons and tons of these? I hope you are because this is a gold mine for Facebook. So I'm looking at my list. I'm looking at the people that I would like to talk to about Life Vantage. Are they all friends on Facebook? Mm, pretty much, pretty much. So I will go to their um, their page, their feed, and I will actually, their wall, and I will actually comment on their posts. So I'm going to tell you what that looks like in a minute. I'll, we'll kind of go through that, but I'm going to look for prospects that are currently on my ITT tracker, and I'm going to comment on their posts. And there's a very specific way that we're going to do that. I'm also going to be commenting by scrolling the posts that are in my feed on my wall. All the things that are, those are all my friends that are posting and I'm going to find those people that I specifically want to target and I'm going to make sure that I comment on their posts. Now the way I do that is I'm going to heart. So if they, if they put a post up, I'm going to, instead of just doing a thumbs up, I'm actually going to hit a heart. The red gets their attention and I'm going to reply to their post. I'm going to comment down in, in that section underneath and I'm not just going to do a thumbs up. I'm not just going to do fire emoji. I'm actually going to add value to the reply. I'm going to be relevant in my reply, not just woo, good girl. I'm going to actually type up a sentence or two because Facebook now looks for relevancy. Did you know that if you comment on someone's post, they may never see it. Facebook now sorts the comments by most relevant. And Facebook chooses what's the most relevant. We tend to find that more words equals more relevance right now. So I'm going to reply and I'm not just going to go, hey, good for you. I'm going to go, what a beautiful birthday cake that you made for your husband. I'm going to add a little more value. And then I'll do the fire emoji or the birthday cake emoji. But relevance is suddenly very very important on Facebook. So I'm going to look for prospects that are already here. I'm going to find them and I'm going to show you an example of this. And then I'm also going to scroll the posts that are already in my feed, looking for those friends and I'm going to comment. Now, then I heart the comment or heart the post and then I comment, I reply and I'm going to use their name. Now, if you're doing this with your phone, 
it automatically comes up with their name. But if you're on a big screen and you might have to type their name in, because what happens when you see somebody, when, when a notification comes up that says Renee Parker commented on your post, and then it says Renee Parker mentioned you in a comment, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go look to see what I, what I wrote. I mentioned your name. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go see what, that's gonna be first. Stop it. Somebody just mentioned your name. You're gonna, you naturally just go to see. Now, what's the importance of that? Relationship and how Facebook views the two of you, the, the person that you've, that you've um, commented on their post, you've hearted, commented, put their name in there. I say it went back to them and then they looked and then they came back to you and Facebook goes, ah, a real relationship. They're going to see each other's information more. And all of a sudden, you see them commenting on your posts more. You see them more in that scroll that you're doing. Facebook has connected you. You've broken the algorithm. Just that simple. The people that you want to see your stuff are seeing your stuff. We have to add value, give value. And Facebook goes, oh, we'll give you back some value. All right. Pretty cool the way this works. So this is an example. So I did this just a few minutes ago. So I went to see, I was looking for a prospect. Her name was Julie White. So I looked up Julie White's name and then I found her, her page. And when I found her page, I found a post that I liked. Now, this was a post that did not have a hundred plus comments already on it. The chances of her seeing my post with those beautiful posts about her daughter, chances are she's never even going to see that. So if she's a regular Facebook user, so I'm going to find something that's got some movement, but not a ton. And I'm going to love her post. Did you see that? I hit love. And then I said, Hey, Julie, what an awesome quote. Julie, did you see me do that just a little while ago? Yes. And I responded. Absolutely. I don't have a picture of that, but absolutely you did. Absolutely you did. Even if it's just a heart on the comment that I put on there. And Facebook goes, oh, these two people must really know and like each other because they're commenting back and forth. Now Julie sees my stuff more. And I see Julie's stuff more. It's a beautiful, we just broke, we just broke Facebook, y'all. We just figured it out right there. So now it's time for us to post. So you want to comment first. Spend about 10 to 15 minutes commenting and make it, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to sit here and get lost in the scroll. I'm going to spend 10 to 15 minutes commenting and, and you do that first before you ever post. Before you, if you're building this as a business, before you ever post, comment first. Because all of those people that you comment first, when you hit that post and put it up, Facebook's going to send them to you. They're going to send them to you. How about that? Yeah, we're breaking Facebook right here. We have figured it out. So what do you post? That's the next thing. What do you post? Well, first of all, you're going to post at a time. Before we talk about exactly what, post when the most people will see it. You're going to ride the Facebook wave. And the times of day, first of all, midweek, mid-afternoon, is a wonderful time to post. And a good way for you to tell is you're gonna see when you're on Facebook, how many folks are on. You can kind of see that number down on the bottom. If you see five, it's probably not a good time to post. If you see 400, get it up there. Fish, take that net where it's gonna catch the most fish. You're gonna right away post when the most people will see it. And then you're gonna ask open-ended questions in your posts. Because you, what you're trying to do is show Facebook that you're active and people are actively involved with you. And I'll show you some examples of some of my open-ended questions. You're going to say, Renee, that's got absolutely nothing to do with life managing. It would appear so. It would appear so. But what we're doing is mining the field. We're turning the soil. We are gathering up the people so that when we do put something out there, the most people will see. 
And you can also play games that require lots of interaction. I'm not talking about those apps. I'm not, and I'll show you what I do mean. I'm not talking about those apps where, you know, you go and, you know, Renee's a Scorpio, which means she's warm hearted and she's loyal. And, oh, if you don't like that one, you can change the answer. Oh, she's wild spirited. And stay away from those. If you're building this for a business, stay away from the, the apps that are going to put the information right back on Facebook. That does not, that does not build your report on Facebook. And your friends are going to go, oh, she's playing that. Oh, really? Go by. Go by. Go by. It's just Renee doing silly things out there. There's really no value. So what does this actually begin to look like? We'll show you in just a minute. So when you are posting and you are fishing in the water, you'll know that when you're fishing in deep water with a lot of fish, because you'll put that post out and almost immediately people will begin to reply. Have you ever put a post out and then you've just seen people begin to, to like it and then somebody says something? Those are nibbles. Consider that the water and there are nibbles coming up to your bait. Those are little nibbles. So when someone replies, when someone comments on your post, as quickly as you can, heart their comment and reply to that. Again, using their name. So I posted, Julie said, hey, Renee, that's a really cute dress that's on your daughter. She replied, she replied, you know, or commented something that was very relevant. And then I will come right back, heart that message. Hey, Julie, thank you so much. It means a lot. And maybe an emoji, you know, a heart emoji or something. And that just when you, the more that they're in, and Facebook doesn't go, oh, well, that was Renee replying to her own post. Facebook goes, okay, now that's one, now that's two. And then somebody else, okay, we'll send it out a little further. Okay, now somebody else makes a comment. I'm back in there. I'm back in there commenting. Facebook goes, oh, this post is getting a lot of action. I'll send it out even farther. And it just builds on itself and builds on itself. And the more you're feeding the fish, by doing that, commenting on your own posts, liking what people say or loving what they do and, and, and commenting, thank you so much, it's very sweet. Facebook sees those comments as just comments on the post and sends it out. Probably 60%, they say, of um, that post's shelf life is in the first 90 minutes. The most people who are gonna see it are gonna see it in the first 90 minutes that you post. And there's a, there's a special hint right there. I'll tell you just a second. I'll make it very clear. So when you're doing this, post at a time when you can be on for a few minutes and see if you get some movement on it. The other thing that you want to do is make sure that when you're posting to your feed, to your wall, when you're actually posting on Facebook, not a story, but right on Facebook, that you're only going to do that no more than about once a day. About once a day or less. Now stories, they're completely different, but all of this feeds into your stories as well, but we're not gonna go into all of that tonight, but we can, I'll answer some questions about stories if you want. So this is actually in your feed. So some Facebook don'ts, don't share. If you see somebody with a great post, don't hit share and take it over to yours because all of the comments Go back to the person that originally wrote it. Wherever it originally came from, when you share, it goes back. It shows, it's, it, Facebook takes it back to the original. You hope people share your stuff. That's great. Copy and paste and credit the person you borrowed it from. And that is perfectly acceptable in the Facebook world. Copy and paste that thing. You know, thanks to Julie for this great post up at the top, but don't, don't share it. Don't hit share, make it your own. And this is getting back to that fishing in shallow water or when the fish aren't biting and when the fish are biting, we do not wanna post late at night or very early in the morning. Remember, we've got a 90 minute time window to get the largest percentage of people to come to the, come to the post. You wanna do that when they're there and most people 
aren't there late at night. I'm the world's best at posting late at night. I'm the I'll, oh my gosh, I forgot to post something. I need to, I need to post something. It's been a couple of days. It's just sitting there. I am the best at not following this advice. And don't give up. Guys, be consistent. Do this every day for 10 or 15. Can you do that for 10 or 15 minutes? Just comment, comment, comment. The people that you're already looking for, find them on Facebook. Just don't be a stalker. If there's someone that does not post very often, if they post once a month, you don't need to be on there every day on that same post going, this was great. Oh, look at it again. No, no. But in a, in a um, social media environment, that's another um, kind of a pro tip is also look for those people who spend some time on Facebook, who are posters, posting people, posters, and who respond. And those are the people who would most easily migrate into a social media world for building a business. So that is breaking the Facebook algorithm. It's that easy. It doesn't sound easy, does it sometimes? But find those folks. And let, let me share one more time, Julie. I'm going to see, I'm going to go to my Facebook. That's the other thing that I wanted to do and kind of show you guys very quickly. I'm going to share one more time and see if it's not wanting to come up. One moment, please. Well, let me see. Maybe it will. Let me come back to this one and see if I can find it. Can you guys see my page? Yes. Okay. So there is an open-ended question. On a scale of one to 10, how much have you missed football? Look at that, guys. 85 comments. Now, half of them were mine. Eight, Facebook saw 85 comments. Now, we don't see the hundreds of comments most of the time unless it's a very um, polarized sometimes or very... Um, well, there's another word I'm looking for. Um, like, let's say a family member passes away. You may see a lot more comments than that for people, you know, a lot of people that never comment will, will share a comment. But there are 85 comments. And what does it say right there? Most relevant. Yeah. Most people don't even know they can click that and change it. We do. But all it's going to show me are the most relevant according to Facebook comments. Now look at Rita Thomas. She's right up there up top. Boy, it doesn't even matter. Lots of words. She made it to the top. But for some reason, all of these that have a little more writing are closer to the top of being relevant. If you want to see all of the comments on your post, you still have to go to all comments or I like to see newest because it shows the newest ones first, but it will show all of the posts. I just have to view them and you notice that I went back and I um, commented I loved their post and then other then these people came back and liked what I put because I put their name in there they came back to see what I was how I mentioned their name and that's just kind of cross section it just kind of like melds that together and that's breaking the algorithm. And there will be people here that I will, oh, I hadn't thought about Jeff McLeod as a prospect. Hmm, look at that, Jeff is loving my stuff. Hmm, maybe I should add Jeff to the TT. Thank you, Jeff, for being a part of the organization. But you guys, you see this and you will see a lot of folks who very possibly are already in life vantage with you. And this is a toughie, but this is what I, have been told to do is to encourage family members, Life Vantage family members, to simply follow each other and not to become friends on Facebook. Because as you saw, Facebook sent it out to the people I have the closest relationships with, and a lot of those were LV people. So it's going to send them out there instead of the prospects. I love you folks. I'm not going to, I'm not going to take anybody out, but just keep that in mind. If there's LV people who you really don't have, maybe you met them at a, a at an event at Life Vantage Academy. Remember when we had those? Or maybe you met them in Cancun, but you really never have connected with them. They're on a different team. You really don't have a lot in common, except you shared sunscreen in Cancun. 
and you really haven't had a conversation with them since, I would recommend maybe taking that person off, still letting them follow you, follow them, just not being buddy pals on Facebook because Facebook's going to make a connection that you may need room for a prospect for. That can be a little sticky, but we do have Team Life Tree to connect with, right? And you guys, you close guys, I'm not going to I'm not going to say, no, you can't be my friend on Facebook anymore, but I'm just saying if there are folks that you don't really have relationships with and they're in life vantage, you might want to, um, to think about taking those off and you might want to look at, you know, when, when someone comes to look at who your friends are and who you're, who's with you on Facebook, if they see a lot of people that have, you know, life vantage in their profile picture or, or in their, the different pictures here, they're going to get a pretty good idea right off the bat that you're with a company and that you might be trying to sell them something instead of trying to build a relationship and let them decide. You just have to, to make sure that we think about, the, oh, by the way, those of you in, in Valdosta, Georgia, the baseball booster club has hams and butts for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, here's another one. October's hands down. Notice that it's just a plain Jane, little yellow background, not a whole lot to it. There's a little information being the mama about my kids because it was National Son and National, da National Daughter Week. And here's one. You see, I just wrote last week of the month stressing, I believe in you. Now, a lot of people saw that, I'm sure, but only one person actually hit that they liked that. So watch what people, what your people comment on on a scale of one to ten there's the football right there's 85 comments and so it goes and goes and goes and goes and goes all right here's another one today is national pot pie day how are you celebrating a lot of fun with that 42 comments guys this is it sounds silly but these things break the algorithm and i did want to show you this last one that was way up top when i was talking about playing games this is what i'm talking about so just for fun, Haunted House, Facebook picked the names on this list. So I borrowed this from someone else. I did not share it. I grabbed it. And this one actually says copy and paste. So I copied and pasted this. Someone had my name in one of these, one of these here, you know, who was, it's a haunted house, who says they're not scared, who's screaming at everything, who's chasing people with a chainsaw. And while Facebook did do the picking of these, I made sure that there were a lot of people in here that were also prospects. And those people come back and a lot of them, what we're just doing is, are seeing their names, seeing their names on some fun that I'm having. So I, every one of these people saw that I mentioned them in a comment or a post. All right, so that is how to do it in 30 minutes or less. Any questions? I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, when you play that game, like you just, the last thing you showed us, and mm -hmm. Facebook supplies those names, how does that happen? Oh, it's, where, where do you, how do you get I, 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 I copied that from someone else. Yeah. And then, so the idea in each one of those was to, um, you, use an ampersand and then the first like letter, like if it's screamed at everybody, ampersand S and the first name that comes up, Facebook actually finds them. Okay. Um, so you're, so it, there is some, you're going down each one of those typing in it. Well, someone yeah, I, did I and then in you copied every, it. Yeah. Yeah. I copied it and then from, I took all those names out. Yeah. Okay. Those people and put my people in. Okay. And even though Facebook did pick them, um, I still, it, it might, may have picked, you know, four people with the, right. So you have some control S. over who shows up. On and this. I'm going to pick, yeah, I'm going to okay. pick Shirley. That's yeah. helpful to know. Thank you. Yeah. Because it, then Shirley sees that Renee mentioned her. She's going to come back and find out why. And there's that, that's a, an immediate break. That's immediate. When we connect with someone like that, we yeah. have broken the algorithm. Yeah. We are now in control of having that relationship with that person. Right. I will say very quickly, stories, different from posting, stories you want to do more than one a day. Um, stories are where I 
actually mention what I do. I will tell a little bit of my story and ask if you're tracking, if you'd like to know more. And the, the one thing that you want to watch when you're doing stories, because you do want to do stories of your life. They're sort of the backstory. Stories are the funny stuff. Stories are the just, you know, the stuff we used to post on Facebook. That's where we post them now. We post them in stories, the funny stuff, the silly stuff, the great stuff. And, um, you know, I made a frittata the other night. I took a picture of it, you know. But what I look for at the end of the day is how many people, who are the people, and how many people followed every one of those stories to the end of the day? Who's tracking? It's beautiful because stories, stories will show you that. I'll show you that real quick if we got a second. You guys want to hang tight? So let me get back to Facebook and share. While you're doing that, Renee, mm -hmm. I understand that for you to be able to follow somebody, they have to have their profile set to public. Right. And yes. so I find sometimes when I'll unfriend somebody in LifeVantage, I can't follow them because they're not set to public. Okay. Maybe ask so it's, them. Yeah. So it's their loss. Yeah. I just... Um, yeah, I just make sure that um, that I'm not follow, that I'm not friending too many LVers. So these are just some things that I'm doing. This is just my life going on right here. Those are the ones that I have. So let me go back. I mean, and this is just for local folks. I don't often do that, but there's something going on. Let me hold this for a minute. And if you'll see over on the side here, how many people viewed it? And so I go back and I'm actually going to look, all right, look at the people. So did this person follow to the next one? Oh, there she is. Look at that. And, oh, and here's a, here's a pro tip. Be sure to, when you get on, when you're looking at other people's stories, be sure to love them. Be sure to hit love because the loves show up first. The loves and the likes show up at the top of the 48 viewers. You see that? No one loved this one, but 39 of those 48 people stayed. So who, who are the people that are watching everything that I'm doing, right? Who are the people? Those are your prospects. Those are the people watching you. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. And there's also a place you can go, these are stored, these don't go away, they go away off a page, but they're actually stored. And there's a place you can go, I don't know if I can get to it right now, guys, let me try, um, to see archives. If you go to archives, look at this, these are all my stories, they live on. And I can go back and see, this one got 151 viewers, and you'll see the people who liked and loved are at the top. They weren't the first, they were just at the top. Look at that. So it's easy to go back and see. And it's also, this is also good to see which of your stories are getting the most um, likes and loves. So it's really good um, for us to go back into. So if I post about healthy life, I got 32. Oh, nope, 93. So there were 93 when I posted about being healthy. Well, that's, that's a pretty strong number, you know? When I posted about this, um, this little guy right here, <laughs> I got 101 views of a lizard and he's singing. Well, he's, he's my organic control. Okay, people thought that was funny. So <laughs> there's my organic pest control. So is this helping you guys? Are you? Absolutely. Okay. I think this is really helpful. You know, that Facebook uh, algorithm seems to always be changing. And so uh, this is definitely great for me. 
Um, this is I'm sure today's everyone else as well. What? This is today's algorithm. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned for tomorrow. <laughs> right. Now, when did you say was the, uh, the best time to do your posts? Um, this is a good time of day. We're in it right now. We're sort of in prime fishing waters right now. So in the evening? In the evenings, and then mid-afternoon, Wednesday afternoons. Wednesday afternoon? Wednesday afternoons. Yeah. And you can actually Google that. When is the best time to post on Facebook? That also changes. And it's different in this environment. So if people are back at work. And it's Wednesday afternoon. And they're supposed to be working. But they're scrolling a little bit of Facebook. Everybody's got a little, you know, everybody's scrolling a little bit of Facebook, getting a little dopamine hit because they're bored and they're trying to stay awake. Yeah, afternoons are good. Friday afternoon, not so good. Friday afternoon, Saturday, Sunday, post a lot of pictures, post a lot of family, post your fun, post your, um, you know, that's that's the time that that Facebook really pushes out. A lot of photos of friends and even if they're even if there's some that you've banked from some time ago Facebook loves family and friend pictures on the weekend great yeah yeah a lot of really great information I have some great notes and uh, just appreciate all the the tips and all the updates and uh, I'm sure everyone found it helpful so I want to thank you again Renee uh, really appreciate it does anybody else have a quick question before we sign off tonight there any in the chat? Can I see? Um, yeah, let's see. Yes, Dan Hunt is asking, at what point do you introduce to someone to Life Vantage after establishing a relationship? Um, that just kind of varies. And when I establish that, that, um, that introduction, it's, it's going to be through Messenger. If I'm already on Facebook with them, then I'm going to step over to Messenger and I'm going to actually begin the relationship part in Messenger. So let's say, Debbie, that you're somebody that I'm prospecting and you've got a photo of your grandchild, right? Or you've got a, something really cute with a grandbaby. And oh, but by the way, anybody seen this? Sorry. My bling is just getting in the way. I'm so sorry. Forgive me for my bling. And um, oh, silly me. Um, so. <laughs> So I will take it to Messenger and I will say, Debbie, that is the most precious child on Facebook today. It's because my grandchild's not on Facebook, for the reason I'll say. But <laughs> that is the most precious picture I have seen all day. Now, is Debbie going to respond to that in Messenger? Yeah. And so, you know, and we've, and this is someone that I've been, you know, commenting on her posts. Now I've taken it to Messenger. A little conversation, and then I'm going to say something like, "Hey, Debbie, quick question. I noticed that you were um, talking about having some worries about, you know, about some family and friends. If I were to show you something that I'm using that helps promote the immune system in this environment, or helps promote the immune system, would you want to know about it? And then I would say, if not, no problem. I was just thinking about you." And I thought I'd ask. If I, would you, is in there. If I could show you, if I, if I could, would you want to know about it? And then I take it completely away from them. I make it, if not, no problem. I was just thinking about you. And I thought I'd ask. Um, we're spending a lot of time in one of the groups that I'm in, one of um, the little mastermind that I'm doing, working on scripts like that that we can use that are not that are not spammy but are also you and still have um, those key elements the if I would you starts with quick question hey just wondering quick question just wondering and I will often refer to something that they've already posted about you know quick question and if I could show you this if I could show you what I'm using if I can show you what some friends showed me about earning some extra Christmas cash flow, would you want to know about it? If not, no problem. I was just thinking about you, thought I'd ask. That's great. And most people, even if they're not interested, they go, oh, girl, thanks for thinking about me. I'm good. And it's not, get away from me, you crazy spammer, Facebook stalker <laughs> lady. 
Yeah. No, because they know that we've already built relationship and this is just a piece of it. And if they want to go down that road, hey, great. If not, no problem. I'm not going to not continue to have that relationship. And what they're going to see from me, at least for the next week or two weeks, is simply posting and loving. I will not bring it up again for a while. Right. <laughs> Very good. But I will bring it back up, but not for a minute. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks again, Renee. A lot of really helpful information. Uh, really appreciate it. You gave a lot of value tonight. Um, I just wondered if Mark Harris had anything he wanted to add tonight. Yeah. I, first of all, let me say, Renee, that's awesome. So, so much strategic, helpful information. Because um, I, I, I am the chief among sinners for entering the scroll hole on Facebook. The other thing I want to encourage everybody, um, not everybody has people as wise as my wife where they are. Uh, and I can't tell you the times that Krista has stopped me from posting something or responding to something that could be um, per perceived as being divisive, if I, if I could say it gently. Uh, so let me just encourage you as well and pass along the wisdom of my beloved. Um, you don't want to eliminate half the population by something you're posting, even though we feel it very passionately. Facebook can be an awesome business tool. You can also burn down your relationships in about two seconds if you're unwise or uncareful. So just realize if you're posting inflammatory or a divisive, potentially divisive information, you are eliminating by definition some people that could get excited about our products, if not the business. So just a word to the wise. The other thing is um, this team has three Facebook groups whose sole purpose is to help us disseminate information. Of course, the Team Life Tree Distributor page is a distributor-only Facebook group. Hopefully, you're all a member of that. But we also have two other Facebook groups that once you've established that conversation and ask great questions, it's the same skills that we do face-to-face. -face. It's just an online format through Messenger. But once you have somebody who's open, you could just add them to one of the Facebook groups, either the Life Tree Health Network or the Life Tree Science Facebook group. Those are both for prospecting, for sharing the information, helping people make a decision. So the Life Tree Health group has a lot of business information. Not everybody wants that. It's not, it's not entirely appropriate all the time. If somebody asks you a health question or a product question, you may want to start out on the Life Tree Science page as well. So just, um, just a heads up, perhaps you're new, perhaps you didn't know that, but since you're already having the conversation on Facebook, and thank you again, Renee, awesome information, um, you can just slide them right over, tag them in a post that's pertinent to the questions that they are asking or you're asking them to which they're responding, and you say, hey, Rita, um, check this out in regards to your question, to what we were talking about, and I think that, that those tools are there for precisely that purpose. Uh, I had one other thing I wanted to mention. We have a fantastic promotion going on. There were five winners, five qualifiers in the five for 500 pool last month. Uh, Mary Coop, I know, hit it. David Meissner hit it. Renee hit it. Bonnie Sales, congratulations, Bonnie. Krista and I hit it. Um, if somebody else hit it, uh, remind me. Um, okay, so that promotion is awesome. It is a great tool. Um, five new enrollments, 500 uh, volume or more qualifies you for 1% of all enrollment bonuses for the month or a percentage of all enrollment bonuses. It's a great tool. Make sure you learn that. We've mentioned it on Success Mastery the last couple of weeks. Um, if, you're, if you're brand new, get with the person that enrolled you and ask them about that bonus. Um, that's, all I'll, that's all I'll share. Julie, back to you. All right. Well, thank you, Mark. And uh, thanks again, Renee. We appreciate each and every one of you guys joining us tonight. Um, so we will see you again next week. Everybody have a great rest of the week. So bye for now.